Let's take a look now at this ungreedy quantifier in action. We're going to set up a very arbitrary set of characters and this set of characters is going to be the number three, let's call it three zillion. I can't be bothered to count the zeros but it's a lot of zeros after the number. Now let's have a look at what happens when we try to match a three followed by any number of zeros at all. Then we're going to print out whatever that pattern match has found. Obviously, by using the greedy version of the quantifier, we've taken our extent of our pattern to the maximum that it can possibly find within the string that it's searching on. However, if we went back here and made it ungreedy, we'd be able to locate nothing at all. No zeros. Just a letter 3. If we went back here and changed this to a plus, which if you recall means one or more rather than the asterisks zero or more, and went back to our command prompt, we get three zero. We could even specify a certain range between two and five. Now we're going to use the non-greedy version first with the question mark after the quantifier. We get two zeros, three hundred. If we go back to our script and remove the non-greedy modifier to our quantifier, it's going to take the top end of the possible quantity. So it's going to take all five zeros, the maximum that it possibly can, given the parameters that we've expressed in our quantifier. Now, these are not terribly inspiring examples, so what I thought I'd do is come good on one of the things that I promised at the beginning of this chapter. That's to show how we can match pieces of dialogue, in other words, anything between quote marks, using regular expressions. And I'm going to take a short string here and type it in. We're going to make a, an array here of quotes. And the quotes that we're going to match are going to be, let's see, what is it that makes up a piece of quotation? A quotation mark. And let's, although we've used double quotes here, let's say we could use either single or double quotes. Now, Perl, of course, is going to ignore the single quotes on the outside because they're not part of the string. They're just what tells Perl that what follows the equal sign is a string and to be treated as thus. So we're going to use either single or double quotes as the separator for our quotation from the rest of the material and then we're going to use, well, pretty much anything as the content of our quotes. And then we're going to need to do the same again. And we're going to run our same for each loop to see what's in our quotes array. Now, it would be nice if this worked, but unfortunately, what we're going to find when we run the script is that Perl has found the entire string and thinks that is a single pattern match. We can tell that it's thinking the entire string is a pattern match because we've asked it to put a line break in between each of the elements of the array containing the matches. So what's going wrong? The same as what was going wrong with the numbers earlier and with the examples in the last movie. This greedy modifier here 
is taking up too many characters. So to get it to only use the minimum, in other words, any characters at all until we hit a quotation mark, we need to use the non-greedy modifier to that quantifier there saying zero or more. So if we move back to our command prompt and run the script now, Perl has successfully found both pieces of dialogue and included them as separate elements of our quotes array.